And come on, let's put our hands together. Amen. And give God some praise today. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, saints. Amen. All over. Amen. Whether you're here. Amen. Or whether you're worshiping with us. Amen. In your living room. Amen. Or riding down the street in your automobile. Amen. Come on. Let's welcome the people, the saints all around the world. Amen. They may be viewing us. Amen. We're just so happy. Amen. It's so great. Amen. To come to you where you are right now. Thank God for the saints. Amen. That are gathered together. Amen. Here. Amen. Yes, we are practicing our social distancing. Amen. And yes, we are abiding by our governor. Amen. About those things that he has established. Amen. But we're just happy. Amen. To come together on this, the Lord's day. I say this is still the Lord's day. Regardless of what's going on outside, amen, yes, we understand, amen, that we are in crisis, amen, battle this pandemic, amen, but I can't stop giving God praise, I can't stop lifting my hands, I can't stop worshiping the Lord, amen, for when I think of the goodness, I, I don't need a crowd, amen, but when I think of the goodness, I don't need somebody on the hammer and organ, My soul cries out, hallelujah, I thank God for saving me. And if there ever was a time, amen, that the saints, amen, need to get down on their knees, amen, because we know, yes, the church is inside of you, amen, but this is just the building where we come in to worship him, amen, but if you're on your job, you can worship God, amen, if you're riding in your automobile, you can worship your God. Amen. If you're lying there in your bedroom, you can worship God. Sitting in your living room, in your kitchen table, you can give God some praise. Come on, worship Him, saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Amen. All around. Amen. These United States, amen, and around the world. Amen. Thank God for this place. Amen. The Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ, right here at 1217, amen, West 22nd, in the city of North Little Rock, Arkansas, amen, where we don't mind magnifying God. We don't mind lifting our hands and giving God some glory and giving God some praise in the midst of all the turmoil that's going on, amen, throughout the world. He is still a wonderful saint. He is still the... sacrifice. Amen. On Calvary's cross. Amen. So we welcome you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. To give your official greetings today. Amen. And we're going to call our head church mother. Amen. If she would come. Amen. And officially greet. Amen. The saints here and those that are watching us 
Amen. God bless. Amen. Our own Mother Jesse Danger. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. sanctuary, amen, will be the assisting pastor, amen, of this great church. We thank God. Come on, clap your hands. Yes. A man that has been standing with us faithfully, amen, ever since, amen, we have been pointed pastorship. We thank God, amen, for how he's continued to uphold our arms, amen, amen. He along with the church family, amen, but he's standing by our sides, amen, and I thank God, amen, for him on today. He's going to be bringing to us the bread of life on today, amen. So we want you to prepare yourself, prepare your hearts, prepare your minds, amen, as everybody gather around, amen, those of you watching, Amen. Let everybody know, amen, that the word is getting ready to come forth yeah. right now. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So stop doing what you're doing. Stop moving around. Amen. Amen. Hold on for that bathroom break. Amen. Or whatever break you're getting ready to take. Amen. Because tell somebody it's word time. It's word time. It's word time. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Before our own assisting pastor, the other David White comes. Amen. Amen. A portion of our praise team is going to come. Amen. And grin to us. Amen. And some. Come on, let's put our hands together and receive them. Amen. Amen. How many of you know that 
you know God is a way maker. Yes, he is. And in times like this, we need our ways to be made. Amen. Yes. Our hearts to be fixed. Yes. Amen. We just need God to just move in any way that he can. Amen. 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 You are here. Move.
contaminated virus that is spreading throughout the earth. But God, we know that all things are possible with you. God, we as believers today, we hold up the bloodstained banner of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Over 2,000 years ago, laid his life down and then he picked it up again with all power of heaven and earth in his hand. Through that name, Jesus, we bind this pandemic today. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind it, God, not only in the state of Arkansas, but across the universe, across America, in New York City, in Chicago. God, in Jesus' name, in New Orleans today, God, we bind those heavy attack areas of Satan right now. We decline the work of Satan right now. We bind it by that authority in Jesus' name. God, we speak life over that community. We speak life in that city. We speak life in that state. In Florida, in California, we speak life today. Commanding those that are sick to be healed. God, we thank you today for manifesting your power, manifesting your love. I speak today in the name of Jesus and by his authority. We call it done today by the faith of the living God. Father, we ask your blessing upon the President of the United States. Direct him with wisdom and knowledge. Father, we thank you today. In Christ's name we pray. Everybody say amen. amen. Thank God. God bless you. Are you thankful today of God's presence? In our midst, are you thankful today of what God has done, what he's already done, and what he's getting ready to do? We're in the midst of a great outbreak of a revival. I don't know if you know it or not. We're in the midst of a great outbreak of a revival. I believe most of the time before revival comes, devastation must come before. That's the reason why. We have to have revival after a devastation. Yes, sir. The church is being attacked today. Yes. And we are under the attack of the enemy. Yes. And I wish today that I would give you a word today that would yes. minister faith in your heart today. I want to let you know that we're not defeated. Yes. But we're victorious through Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Somebody shout amen. Amen. I believe God today, and I'm certainly thankful for being in the presence of the Almighty God today. Thank God for this great man of God, Pastor Dennis Rogers. Let's show him some love today. In the absence of the First Lady, Dora Rogers. Amen to our head church mother, Mother Dander. So thankful for you being here today. I hear Deacon Deacon Davis to each of you today. To Elder Vanderbilt, who gave such a wonderful prayer on today. So we're thankful for God's presence in this room today. I said we're thankful for his presence in this room. And I'm not going to linger. I want to go to the word of God because I believe in this time and day in which we live, 
we need to hear from God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you don't need to hear from me. We need to hear from God. Yes, sir. Yes. And I think the world is at a panic now because we're hearing from man yes. and not hearing from God. My God. Man is the instrument whom God uses. Yes. But we must understand that man is limited. And God is unlimited. Yes, sir. Only God can speak and things can disappear just Amen. like that. Yes, sir. We right. must be the one to call upon the name of the Lord. Yes. And the Bible says, whosoever shall call upon his name yes. in the last day shall be saved. Yes. How many of you believe that God still saved yes. today yes, and he still delivers today? Yes. Somebody shout amen. amen. If you will go with me to the book of 2 Corinthians. Yes. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 3 through 6, I believe, where I want to read from. For 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and those that are watching by live stream, and you can follow us as well through the scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and we'll begin reading at that third verse. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Yes, sir. For the weapon of our warfare are not mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and everything that exalt itself against the knowledge of God, and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And God's word is blessed, and I want to stop there. I want to minister to you today the unseen war. The unseen war. Right. And my subtopic today will be the unexpected enemy. The unexpected enemy. The only weapon that's adequate to destroy the fortressness of Satan, unrighteousness, and false teaching are those God gives us, such as the blood of Jesus Christ and the authority of the name of Jesus. The power and the power of the Holy Ghost and the spiritual gifts. Yes. Now the Bible tells us that God in the God the Bible tells that God Jesus gave gifts unto men. Amen. The Bible tells us that he put in place in the church a fivefold ministry. Yes. Yes. Uh, do you believe me tonight? Yes, the fivefold ministry and it is for the perfecting of the church. Yes. We're at a war today and the enemy is out for blood. We see and we hear so much that is going on. But the man that is behind all of this is not your government. The man behind all of this is Satan himself. The Bible tells us that Satan, he is our enemy. He is the accuser of the brethren. And he come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come to give you life. And that you may have it more abundantly. Yes, There's nothing that is formed in this world against the church that can prosper. Everything that Satan has lashed out against you, he's already been defeated by Jesus Christ. Every stronghold that is on this universe, you as a believer has the power to bring that stronghold down. We are not cowards, but we are believers. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are on the front line of battle because the weapon of our warfare is not coming. The Bible tells us that we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthened us. Let me tell you today saints of God that Satan knows they have only but a short time. Don't focus on the sickness. Don't focus on the virus but focus on the cross because the cross is where the power that Jesus defeated the devil over 2,000 years ago. Somebody shout hallelujah. We're not the victims. But we are the victors. Yes. Victory belongs to you and I. Yes. If you hold your peace and let the Lord fight your battle, victory belongs to you. Yes. The Bible tells us he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible gives such illustration in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. He says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. By it, by what? By faith. By it, the elders obtain a good report. I don't know about you today, but the captain of the army 
point in which I am in. He is in full control. His name is Jesus, the everlasting Father, the great I am. He is Jehovah Jireh. He supplies all of our needs. He walks with us. He talks with us. He allows us to walk in victory, in power, in peace, in love, in joy. Somebody shout hallelujah. God. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. The weapon of our warfare yes. are not carnal. You. you can't kill this thing with an automatic gun. You can't kill it My with a knife. You can't kill it with your education. You can't kill it with your experience in life. You cannot kill it with your eloquent words. You cannot kill it, kill it with your status in life, your reputation, the, the place where you live. It does not speak any volume when it comes to Satan. Satan understand one thing, that the blood of Jesus Christ is his defeat. The blood of Christ has brought him down under the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. He understand that there is one name given among men whereby we must be saved that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ he is Lord not only is he Lord over my life but he's Lord over the universe he's the same God right here in America he's the same God in China he's the same God in India he's the same God in Africa he's the same God in Russia he's the same God in every city of this state He's the same God of every state in this country. He's the God in the White House. He's the God in the right house. He's the God in the house where you live. He is the Lord over all. He is my salvation. Somebody shout yes. 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 Tell somebody I'm a believer today. Glory to God. I believe what the word of God says. My God. He shall walk with me. Yes. He shall talk with me. Yes. Mm. Everywhere I go, this hand of protection is upon me. Yes, sir. Somebody say amen. amen. Jesus told his disciples to go ye into all the world yes. and preach the gospel. Yes. Whoever hear and believe, they shall be saved. But they that don't believe, they shall be damned. Yes, sir. But he gave them power to tread upon scorpions, yes, sir. upon serpents. He wasn't talking about scorpions and serpents in a literal form, but those principalities and powers that attack us at a dark moment in your life. America is at a dark moment, but I want to let America know today, we win. We're not losers. We win. Yes, this too shall pass away, but in the midst of this situation, God will keep those that commit themselves unto him against this day of evil. My God is able to keep us and to sustain us, to walk with us and talk with us and lead us in the midst of this dark hour. Look at somebody today and say, neighbor, I'm living for him and I'm trusting in his word. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We know that there's such a tight grip of what's going on now. New York City, people are dying by the hundreds. Chicago, people are dying. California, they're dying. And before it gets better, they're going to get worse. But I want to let you know something today. Go with me to the book of Psalm chapter 91. We got to understand where we are. We got to understand where we are in the body of Christ. We got to understand who we are. We got to understand who we serve today. We're not serving a weak God. We're not serving a God that don't know anything. But the Bible tells us all things are known unto him. God knows the next move of the enemy. See, we got to put on our warfare. The Bible tells us to put on the whole arm of God. That you be able to stand against the evil into the, in the evil times. We got to trust God and know that every step that we make, he orders our step. He will lead us not into temptation, but around temptation. He's a God that has an 
all sin eyes. He's a God of love and mercy. He's a God of compassion. My God understand where we are. He know where you're hurting today. He, my God, he feels your sorrow. He's a man acquainted with our grief. He is the son of David. He is the son of the living God. Jesus is the same today that he were yesterday. I wish I had some believers that know what I'm talking about. To know that we're not in the valley just to die. But one day God bringing us out. And we're going to come out with a praise. Thanking God. Why? Because we remember where the Lord has brought us from. Love flows because God is in control. A church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Word Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services.